Millions of people are marching all around the world today to demand urgent action on climate change. Kenneth Craig reports from the youth led climate strike in New York City. They held signs and chanted as they gathered in Lower Manhattan, fighting for the future of the planet. Young people missed school for the event, which is part of a worldwide climate strike. 16 year old Azalea Danes is one of the local organizers. Today's climate strike in New York City has three main demands. The first one is no fossil fuels and democracy in governments, business, or media. The second one is a just transition to 100% renewable energy. And the third demand is hold polluters accountable. Youth led climate strikes are being held in more than 1,000 locations across the United States. The demonstrations are inspired by teenage Swedish activist Greta Thunberg's Fridays for Future movement. The protests here are being echoed around the world and come just three days before the United Nations Climate Summit begins here in New York City. Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators took part in massive rallies across Australia, demanding a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Protesters also gathered in Kenya. Climate change is real and it's coming for us. Experts say Africa is the most vulnerable continent to climate change. It was a similar scene in India. I think this is the most important issue that we need to be talking about. Forget politics, forget society. The political and social narrative of this country needs to be representing the scenario of climate change right now. Global organizers say the only way to defeat climate change is if the whole world works together. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. The New York City Department of Education allowed students to miss school if they had parental permission to attend today's rally. But some students in some of the other countries will get unexcused absences for attending.